everyone uh, to Sunset's Ponies. So my target has taken a little while uh, to get in the new Basic Fun uh, G3 ponies. Um, it seems like everybody else has gotten them, but mine finally uh, put some out. Um, so here, they have released some um, G3 ponies, uh, just like the G1 ponies, their remakes. Um, sometimes they match pretty close, sometimes they don't. There's only four that have been made so far. Um, I only pick up, picked up Applejack, which I do not have the original to compare to, um, but I am going to compare the packaging um, and the um, pose to the original. So let's go ahead and take um, a look at the original packaging here. This is from early in the line. They did redesign the packaging a few times just to go along with whatever theme they had. Um, but you can see that they've tried to mimic some of the early G3 packaging down to these flowers. Um, are so close that I would suspect that... Um, this all comes directly from Hasbro, exact same flowers, um, the rainbow is very close, uh, everything is pretty close. Uh, keep in mind that this packaging is slightly yellowed uh, just from age. Do notice that up here it does say G3. Um, that is interesting since it is a, um, the generations are a um, fan made term, um, but then again, these ponies are made to appeal to nostalgia, so it makes sense that they would use terms that would appeal to those who are fans. So, just so you know, original packaging would have, say, just a couple of things about the pony on the back. This one just basically talks about that My Little Pony is celebrating years of friendship and magical adventures with these authentic replicas of the third generation ponies with long shiny hair that you can brush, braid, and style. They look and feel just like you remember. Okay, and it has a basic fun right down here. So all of the ponies that they've made so far are um, in reference to G4. They made remade Applejack, they remade Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, and Rainbow Dash from G3. Okay. And uh, as I said, unfortunately, hi Farley. This is Farley. He doesn't always join me. You gonna join me today? Okay, so let's go ahead and take her out. Can you come over here? Thank you. So the artwork is pretty simple. Okay, so here is G3 Applejack. She does come with a brush. It is a, um, a replica. This is a generic uh, G3 brush. Um, like you can see in this packaging, only this one is, is facing the other way. Okay. So she... She feels much like the um, basic fun ponies in that um, there's a little bit of squish, but um, she's firmer than G1s, but that's pretty, um, G3s were firmer than G1s. I always like the um, detail of the apple in her eye, the apple of her eye. Um, so this one is a little different from the original, uh, the original Applejack, the original G3 Applejack has alternating stripes, um, whereas this one just has, um, two tone, one color here, one color down there. Okay, so, um, this is a pretty quick review. She's, uh, pretty interesting. I probably won't buy many more of these. Um, I think the thing about G3s was that um, a lot of the collectors, at least who were around my age, were already adults when these started coming out. 
And so I've already, you know, I already have a decent sized collection of G3s. Um, I'm really more excited about the G1s personally. So, um, if you have not already, um, you'll want to go ahead and subscribe. Um, I do have another channel coming up here real soon. Um, it looks like the new My Little Pony, Pony Life um, show, which we'll talk about in the next video. The new toys um, are finally available on Amazon, so I went ahead and ordered a couple of them from Amazon so that I could get them in and get them reviewed for y'all. So, so click subscribe if you want to see that video because it will be coming up uh, shortly. And uh, you don't want to miss um, all the other fun stuff that I'm hoping to get done here soon. So y'all have a Merry Christmas. Bye.